Hello friends, welcome back. So we are talking about the render box development plans. So where we gonna take this application in future. So in last video I showed you how render box is downloaded by all over the world and this is the single machine render so it can render only in single machine but now I'm gonna make a, a render box so you can split your job into multiple machine in your network so there are few key changes from render box 1.1 to render box 2 and the primary changes is uh, render box 2 will be a web application so that means you can actually open your render box monitor from any device from ipad phone laptop desktop anywhere you just need a web address and you can just open the render box monitor where you can send jobs where we, you can read jobs where you can uh, check the status of the client computers and everything so it will the interface will be on web there are few interface only one interface will be in uh, uh, python and qt that is the client interface and that is just to display the information okay i'll show you what is this so at this stage i just started with a basic user interface setup with uh, some uh, basic uh, apis to populate some data and i will develop this and update you through my channel and also you can check out the uh, source code in github so i'll show you first user interface and then github repository so next in this renderbox 2.0 will make this uh, uh, username and password enter and login So once you log in, you see on, on the, uh, there will be a sidebar menu where you can off and on and also there is there's a preview box where you can see the images of what, what's rendering, uh, some sort of job progress which show you how much render time take per frame and this, this inter, uh, these both uh, images and this job progress chart uh, graphics will update on click here so when you see the jobs right now we don't have any jobs so that's why it's empty but since we have job we will have jobs here populated here and the jobs which you create from here like submit jobs maya houdini blender new graphics so once you click there a interface will open where you can select few things and add your file select project submit and once you submit it will come under the view jobs so this is the idea for the viewing the jobs another thing is we will see the farm so it will show you how many machines are connected at this time my laptop is connected so it's just showing that and once you click that it will show the utilization of the CPU and RAM users uh, it's showing a straight line here uh, the reason is that the render box client is not running so now it's a good time to see our client what the client look like so let's go to this is our server all right so let's just start the tray first okay so once i run the tray okay yes so you see this one render box icon will appear here once you right click here it will show that okay server is running right now we are running from local so it's just saying we can open a console where we can see the client information as I mentioned this is the only uh, application that we will have just to see the information what we have what jobs are running on this machine so all we need to install just this render box uh, client console and that will just update that 
but imagine one more thing here also you can submit jobs here through render submission and also you can submit through web also now let's see in our web it's updating you can see that it's 100% and update so now this RAM and CPU utilization is live coming from as you can see in our task manager it's this so imagine if you have 100 machines in your farm and any machine is getting slow you can actually go and debug what's going on so you don't need to take remote control of that machine you can directly see the status this is just one example which we will do it will also show like how how many tasks running on that 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 machine if you un unclick that uh, it will no longer fetch the information from that machine but if you select that it will start uh, fetching the data and also it will update like host name and IP address of the client computer also we'll have a third tab which shows the reports so how many jobs we have and what are the status kind of that so it's very basic also we'll have like user profiles so whoever is logged in right now it's none so just add like go to profile settings so let's just put a name okay all good just save changes as you see this now we have names there okay so this is the user interface of render box up to now which we release 2.07 and very basic okay i'm still developing on that you can find out the coding behind this entire application even in the development stage in github.com slash vfx pipeline and here I just created a application Django application called zone and you can read more about zone into this github repo and just give you a quick uh, demo about what zone is uh, so zone is a Django application and if you if you're familiar about how Django application structure works render box is a application inside zone application so zone is a Django app and render box is the app inside computing zone so if you see this folder structure as you can see this this is the zone application and render box is the sub application of this so if you see inside uh, okay my internet is not there so if you if you see uh, inside the uh, uh, application install application uh, there is a render box will be inside there. I'll show you in directly my code. Okay, zone settings.py. And here you can see that installed app render box. So render box is a app inside zone application. Right. So there is no no confusion between what zone is one uh, and what is uh, render boxes because so uh, I'm I'm, uh, I'm trying to create a application for distribution computing and rendering is not just the only process where we can utilize the distribution computing there are many other areas where we can use that that is uh, for any sort of heavy calculations uh, data mining and other heavy processes that we can split and take advantage of all the network computers um, uh, in our network okay so this is just the beginning uh, starting and I just created this repo two days back and uh, I will update this repo as like uh, if I get time in the weekend in the holidays so I will try to update that but from you I need uh, suggestions I need uh, feedback because this application is for all of you this application is for you so if you need anything inside this application if you want if you have some request if you if you have some good idea about this application how we can make this more robust more advanced you can actually go inside this project if you don't have any github account you can create it's free so if you see this issues uh you can, sorry 
uh, if you go inside issues you can create issues uh, and uh, I will reply to those issues okay and uh, with that actually uh, we can make this application more useful for all of us okay so this is it about the computing zone render box and I hope we will make this the application more robust so we can soon use this in production environment okay so subscribe this channel and also comment in this video like what you feel about render box what you want about in the render box and also you can go to github and create issues if you have any issues you, you at this moment it's very raw stage you cannot use this in development uh, in production environment but soon we will ready this so you can start uh, use in the production environment and i will update you through my videos uh, what is the progress in the render box okay so all right guys thank you very much for watching this video for downloading render box for appreciate my work thank you very much see you soon